Honeybugger is probably one of the most popular streamer flies ever produced. And this version has a dumbbell eye to add a bit of jigging action and some weight. For a hook, use a size 8 to 14, 3x or 4x long shanked hook, like this size 10 Daiichi 1750. Start a fine to medium thread near the eye of the hook. This ultra thread 70 denier works very well. Bring the thread to about a quarter of the way down the hook shank and snip off the tag end. Then build a little base to put the dumbbell on. For more information on attaching dumbbell eyes, click the dumbbell link at the top of the video or in the description section. Then bring your thread all the way back to the bend of the hook. Always add a drop of super glue to keep the eyes from spinning. Now measure out a marabou quill to about the length of the hook shank. Then switch hands at the measurement and tie the marabou in at the base of the hook with some tight wraps and clip off the extra marabou. Now we will take a few strands of crystal flash and tie them in on the side of the marabou. Then pull the tag ends around and tie them in on the other side of the marabou. And cut off the extra to about the same length as the marabou tail. Now we are going to tie in some fine wire and also some chenille. Then bring your thread to the front of the hook. Now we will wrap the chenille up the hook shank until we reach the dumbbell eyes. Once at the dumbbell eyes, we will make X wraps around the eyes and then capture the chenille. Cut off the tag end of the chenille and clean up the head of the fly a bit with some wraps. As you can see, the chenille sort of makes a head around the dumbbell eyes. Now we are going to measure out a bugger hackle feather to the right length of fibers, and then prepare the hackle. To see how to prepare a hackle, click the hackle link at the top of the video or in the description section. Tie in the hackle and make two wraps around the hook shank. Then make a set of X wraps around the dumbbell eyes. Now proceed to palmer the hackle down the hook shank until you reach the end of the chenille. Then take the wire and start wrapping it in the opposite direction up the hook shank. Make sure to wiggle the wire while wrapping in order to trap less hackle fibers. Now capture the wire at the head of the fly and wrap on both sides of the wire. Then you can simply helicopter the wire off. Make a few wraps to cover up the wire and smooth out the head of the fly. Then you can whip finish your fly. Go ahead and trim off any trap fibers if necessary. And for the last step, you can add a bit of head cement or super glue. But I like to add a UV curing resin made by Solarez called Bone Dry. It cures really quickly and is super hard. I find that the fly is a bit more durable when using Bone Dry. Now clip off the extra hackle and the fly is finished. As you can see, this fly moves a bit differently in the water than a normal woolly bugger. And it also swims hook point up, so it tends to be a bit more snag resistant. Hey, thanks for watching. 
If you like this sort of thing, please subscribe. Check out my website for more videos at mcflyangler.com. Now go catch some fish.